Well, first things first, a big three-on-three -three, uh, competition today at practice. I know the guys had some fun with it, but very competitive too. So congratulations on the victory for your team. You want to give some credit where credit is due? Oh, yeah, thanks very much. I mean, I need to, to say thanks to Doobie too. I think uh, I was offside, I guess. I didn't see it, but uh, he kept it onside. So, no, we we it was a great day for us. I mean, for, for the team as well. Uh, just being playing three on three, like just having fun and get their uh, cardio going a little bit. What does it mean when you are in that long season and there's the grind of the games, the travel, all the practices, the focus is so intense and you get a chance to do something like this? What does it mean for the players? Oh, it's always fun. You know, you come to practice and uh, you have fun like this uh, as at the same time, just as working as hard as a real practice. No, I mean, it's just fun. Obviously, some guys are frustrated because of what happened on the offside, but uh, uh, some guys are happy to, to win that uh, three on three tournament. So do you have a board of governors that will discuss possible rule changes uh, within the group to get things right next time? Uh, probably. I don't think Doobie's going to be a referee for the next uh, couple of tournaments, but uh, no, hopefully he's going to be on their side again. I guess it just proves that he's best placed as a coach. Yeah, exactly. He had a team on this side. I guess he saw white the entire way and we end up with the win. <laughs> All right. Now, in terms of the week ahead here, uh, what does it mean to be able to get some practice time in ahead of the big games with Iowa and before the long road trip? Oh, it's been a while since we had like a week of practice, so it's going to be good for us just uh, uh, to get back on uh, on uh, at work. Um, we we got to get ourselves uh, some good uh, good games this weekend, and we just have to work hard and get prepared for the playoffs and what's coming next. It's one of the things that Pascal Vincent said after the game on Sunday was uh, you can have all the systems you want. In the end, it's down to hard work and winning battles. Is that a message that's clear in the room? Oh, I think we got that message too. Uh, that's 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 true. We need to work hard and... Uh, battles and win our, win our battles and I think uh, I think that's what we're gonna work on the, dur during the week I'm sure and uh, we just need to improve on that and I'm sure we're gonna be fine for the weekend. Is there a bit of a different focus to this team uh, the way that it's made up now from maybe earlier on in the year when you had the ability to to score five goals it seemed every other time you played? Uh, obviously every team now are just like their system gets better and better and better and we just like you said and like uh, Pascal said it's just uh, a matter of work ethic uh, how hard you work and uh, that's that's what teams do to win games so that's uh, that's what we need to bring in the, in our next couple games is this really fun for you now to be in your first full year as a professional to get into this part of the season and and see what it's like when the games get better and the competition gets tougher and you're preparing for the playoffs obviously uh, for sure uh, i came here last year at the end of the year obviously it was, it was a different scenario but uh, just being at the end of the year, obviously, like all the players, uh, they work harder. They like they know they want to get there, and being part of it this year, it's it's for for my first pro year, it's 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 amazing. You know, like you see guys working hard, and um, they want to win. Like there's one goal at the end, and is that the Calder Trophy, and and that's where we're going for it. Stick to reading, a big part of the uh, Moose program in the community. Uh, guys are getting a chance to go out tomorrow to work with some kids to promote the idea of reading and getting involved in reading and, and making it a big part of their lives. Uh, you're a university guy. What does it mean to be able to, to get out and, and spread the good word? Oh, it's always nice to go uh, read for kids. Um, uh, school is always a big part of, of, of your life. Uh, that's what my, my parents taught me. And uh, just to bring to bring back the kids is, is very fun, especially if I think I'm going to go to the French uh, school tomorrow with Patrice, so it's going to be nice to... To, to speak French a little bit. Well, speaking with that, uh, what about the idea of being bilingual? I know it's important in your life. Is it something that you encourage young people to do as well? Of course. I think it's a big thing now these days and just uh, to be able to speak uh, either French, English or other languages. I think it's very important uh, to at least speak two languages. So uh, either you go to school, you go visit some country and uh, it's gonna always going to make you uh, um, able to speak with other, other country, other people, other nation. Yeah.